Well, there is a reason it is called the greatest spectacle in racing. Over the last 102 years, it's gone from just a day of racing to a month of events leading up to the Indy 500. And for some of these months of May traditions, go beyond the sport. Yeah, that's right. Leah Blackburn introduces us to a fan who hasn't missed a race for the last 56 years. We just got hooked on it, and I never considered it a, a streak. You know, oh, I got to keep my streak alive until... Maybe it got to the late 80s or 90s. Dan Dudgeon isn't just a collector of IndyCar memorabilia. I'm missing nine out of the uh, 55 in last year's. <laughs> There's, I printed out Doug Bowles' proclamation that my streak is still intact. This year, he'll attend his 56th consecutive Indy 500 race. I can tell you every winter of every year I went. His wife of 40 years, Patty, has only missed two races since they got married, one of those being the birth of their daughter just days before the race. Dan, however, still made it. They were showing the race highlights on TV, and I said, I was going, look, look, I started to sit on the sofa. Our daughter was laying on the sofa, almost sat on her, but I was a new dad. I wasn't used to having a child. He's out so. <laughs> From photos. This picture here, that's 1967. That's me, that's my brother, that's a friend of ours, that's A.J. Foyt. To a brick at the Speedway. We were one of the first ones to put one in there. Dan has decades of memories since he first came to the track as a 10-year-old boy with his dad. There's so much history and tradition to this track here, the Indianapolis 500. That's, that's one race I won't miss. He and Patty will return to the Speedway this weekend to experience their favorite moments after a very long wait. When they play taps, I mean, I get teary-eyed every year. Soaking up every moment of the greatest month of the year. If you've never attended it, you, you don't, you just think it's just a race, but it's a huge celebration. Word of advice here, find someone who loves you the way that man loves the Indy 500. He won't go wrong, I promise you that. Now, Dan and Patty have been at IMS all ready to watch practice. They say things look a little bit different this year with fewer fans and wearing masks, but they couldn't be more grateful to be back at the track. <laughs>